So it's possible that the first time you, you run Salome Mecha, you will run into this kind of problem. Uh, you solve your analysis and uh, you will get a red, uh, red display like that. And if you look at the error message, you'll get something very short saying execution code, uh, error and 127. So it's actually, it doesn't tell you a lot of information. So uh, I searched on the internet on, uh, and I, I had, uh, there was an answer on the forum of Codeaster telling how to solve this problem. And basically it happens because uh, you are lacking a library uh, on your Linux uh, distribution. So you need to install the libopenblast library. So here, right now, uh, I am installing it. So uh, the command, so you can see it here. The command I entered is this one, sudo apt get install libopenblast.dev. So, and once you enter that, you will be requested your admin password, uh, and then it will automatically uh, install all the all the, the different packages that you need in order to uh, to run. And once you did that, well, if you didn't do any other uh, errors in your modeling, well, you should get the green label and uh, you should get your results. So let's wait that the install is finished and let's see if uh, now it works. Okay, now I just finished to download the package. So let's just run the calculation again and Let's uh, see if it works. So activate the stage again and run. And let's see what I get. Maybe I'll get a different error message, I don't know. Well, that's a bit the problem of uh, open source, you know, a lot of things. Oh! Okay, I get a green one this time, so that's wonderful. Actually, it's working. So, so you see, installing this library libopenblast will solve this kind of problem, and you know, now I'm getting my results. So, uh, I'll, I will show you in another video how to uh, how to do this uh, tutorial. Uh, but for the moment, this video was only about solving this problem. So I hope it helped you a lot. Thanks for watching. So if you are on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fea4all.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching, I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.